Hello and welcome back to another episode of Clan Gen featuring Redwood Clan. Last episode, we had a little bit of insight about the newest members of the clan. Um, we had Soft saving Rainpaw from a hawk. He's injured down here. Which I thought, you know, we got to see a lot more of his character that he's protective of kits and all that. We got to see... Oh, um, we had fawn sights in the vision to um, do so. And we also have Brightshade, who is one of our newest cats down here. She also had a vision, and apparently also has a secret according to one of our Star Clan cats. And do song evidently lies to Grain when when Grain asks her about any dreams or unusual visions. So we have the potential of drama with these new cats in our clan. Um, looks like we have Lime Pounce and Crowpaw hanging out down here. Actually, I don't think I've mentioned yet, but. You know, these cats are apprentices now. So, we've got newly made Crowpaw, I think, with Lime Pounce. We have Fernpaw, Prince Fernpaw, hanging out with with his aunt Sandbreeze up in the leader's den. And we, uh, we have a bunch of apprentices down here, and as you'll notice, this is Sunpaw hanging out in the medicine den. So let's see. Um, I've changed. I think I've changed who their mentors are. So these won't be entirely accurate. But it looks like Rainpaw is really excited to be an apprentice. Um, Crowpaw is hoping for a fun adventure with Princess Ned with well maybe that might not be her mentor but Crowpaw is hoping for a fun adventure as an apprentice and immediately tripped over a small trunk. Greenpaw Princess well I'm gonna change that in a second but Greenpaw is hoping that their deceased father um is watching down from Star Clan as well as Sunpaw. Um, oh, and Bright Shade's tail was badly injured by a thaw. And yeah, I've got to change this Princess Sunpop to something else. Um, let's see. So, let's see. I'm just going to change this to Sunpaw right now. Because I was gonna make this litter of kits, dukes and duchesses, I think it's pronounced. Because it was brought up to me in the comments and that would make it easier for me to keep track of who's in line. So let me change that. Um, oh yeah. I'm changing this. I think, I believe if... Where if the time comes and they're the only ones next in line, they'll they can be deputy and leader. But yeah, the only reason I'm leaving Sunpaw like that is just because I don't know the middle ground between Duke and Duchess, and also they're gonna be a healer, so they don't need that title anyways. With the way I've written the challenge for this clan, anyway. So, but yeah, um, Fernpaw, his mentor is Saw. Wait, yeah. You're, you're not a new apprentice, Rainpaw. I got confused. Rainpaw, his mentor is Grain. Icepaw's mentor is Sandbreeze. Crowpaw's mentor is Snowfeather, which I think will be interesting to see how this troublesome and shameless dynamic will work out. But Greenpaw's mentor is Rodeo, who is injured with a snake bite. But yep. And obviously Sun Paul's mentor is Do Song. I actually would imagine that 
none of these kits, none of San Breeze's adopted kits ever expressed a specific interest in being a medicine cat. But the lore right now is that it was revealed to Doosong that one of these apprentices had to be her. One of these new kits had to be her apprentice in Star Clan. Um, presented to her that Sun Paul will be the next. The next, um. Medicine cat. So, Sun Paul is. was a bit conflicted when this was originally presented to them. Because they have this avid play fighter quality, and everyone thought, well, that'll make them a good warrior. But nope. Stark decided they're gonna be the new medicine cat apprentice. But it looks like they're taking it well, because they're ready to take care of any patients, which they have a lot on their hands already with bright shade, soft rodeo. But yeah, that's what we have going on right now. Um, looks like. Princess, well, Duchess Green Paw spent her last moon as a kit pouncing on Sand Breeze. Um, looks like Doosang had a bit of a fight with Deer Paw. Um, let's see what else. No, Heather had a disagreement with Acorn Strike over kits. I wonder if that- what does that mean? Like, who wanted kits, who didn't? Or maybe they had different ideas of raising them. Uh... But yeah. Nothing too crazy, it looks like. King Acorn Shrek is rethinking his life choices for some reason. Sam Reed is wondering what it would be like to be Lear. I wonder what has come up where she's like thinking, Oh, what am I gonna do when I'm leader? Like, Acorn Shrike isn't that old. I feel like he still has some moons ahead of him. He's got eight lives. I hope that's not foreshadowing, Sandries. This song is eavesdropping on Grain. And she did have that bit of a moment with Grain last episode. Sunpaw. Grain wonders how Sunpaw is doing. Bright shade. Soft thinks he can take on a dog solo. Lion Pounce is running after a colorful beetle. Deerpaw is asking his mentor for more training. I'm still unsure whether I want to interpret Deerpaw's being a little fierce in nature, or if he's just genuinely ambitious and wants to be a stronger cat for his clan, I'm not sure. There's a lot of different directions that thought could be taken in. Um, Rainpaw isn't having a good first moon as an apprentice. And yeah, that's just about it. Let's see our star clan cats. Fogrise has seen Icepaw's future demise, which is hopefully in the far, far future, Fogrise. And yeah, poor Cedarpaw, our youngest Star Clan cat. And Jade Smoke is thinking about walking in the dreams of Mochi Shade. Which I don't know if Mochi Shade is the kind of cat who would listen to what Jade Smoke would have to say. Let's see. I'm gonna send- oh wow, we have a full list of cats here. I never thought Mudward Clan would get that big. Let's see. Actually, for this moon, I'm just gonna ignore what everyone is thinking in terms of like deciding who goes with who. Because we have a lot of apprentices and I want to send them. I want their first patrol to be with their mentor. So let's send Sun Paul with Dusan. As the patrol pads out into Redwood Clan territory, Sun Paw tells Healer Do Song about the dream they had last night and what the vision could mean for Redwood Clan. They have an in depth of conversation about Sun Paw's vision as they walk. Interesting. Sun Paw has just been made a prince and they've already 
already um, had a vision. Which some people in the comments were theorizing that that's something that Sun Paul would be dealing with. So potential lore. Um, dear Pa, oh, let me see. Burn Pa. I'm gonna save you for last because your mentor is unavailable and so is Green Paws. So let's send Lion Pounce and Deer Paw together. And I'm gonna send. Wait, who doesn't? No, no one has no penis. I wanna send them together. Lion Pounce can have a double apprentice patrol. The patrol approaches a two legged nest in the woods while hunting. Ooh. Would line pounce go? I think the ambitious and playful qualities outweigh the strict quality. The patrol has a successful hunt. Okay. Crow paw. You can go with Snow Heather. As the patrol spreads out to hunt, Duchess Crow paw admits they think they had a vision from Sarkler. The patrol talks to them about whether it was a real vision as they hunt. Okay. We'll see. I'm not gonna take that as seriously as Sun Paul's vision just because it said it may or may not be a real vision. But like Sun Paul's the medicine cat, so they have more credibility in their visions. Let's send King Ikurshaik and Crab Paw together. With Green Paw. While helping gathering herbs, Crowpaw stumps upon a bush of red berries. Um, we have an observing trait. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, Greenpaw, oh, Crowpaw would do it. This is Crowpaw's decision. I'm not sure, I think with this observing trait, he would kind of be like, you know... And it's not his first one as, a, as an apprentice, so he has a little bit more sense to not eat random berries he finds in the woods. Sand Breeze and Ice Paw can go on patrol. As your patrol is checking the borderlines, they notice an antler clan that has strayed into their territory. Uh... I f Sand Breeze, it's been a couple moons since the war. She's had her time to heal from the grief a bit. I think her first instinct would be to antagonize, but Ice Paw is there to, to um, help her chill out. I don't know, we'll just proceed normally. Your patrol follows a set deeper into their own territory, eventually stumbling upon, upon the Antler Clan deputy. The deputy explains that they come bearing important news for your leader. That's kind of suspicious, but we'll roll with it, okay? I don't know if I like the idea of the Antler Clan deputy coming in and talking to Acorn Stripe. Oh, whatever. Let's send these three together. The patrol catches, catches the cinema mouse nearby. And Rainpaw makes the killing bite. Cool. Yeah, all my notes are written down for that one. Okay, we can go ahead and skip to the next moon. Soft's claw wound has healed. Rainpaw has gotten green cough and Crowpaw's bruises have healed. Okay. So nothing too terribly dramatic, except Rainpaw has a green cough, and I'm not sure how that how severe that is compared to other coughs. Sandbreeze and Acre Shark are still getting along. Looks like Sandbreeze and Mochi Shade are also becoming friends, and so is Acre Shark and Lime Pounds. Well, she has said Sam Breeze went on patrol without them, well, she's the deputy, so... Okay. 
Looks like the apprentices are getting along with the other clan mates. Yeah. Okay. So soft is feeling all better now. Let's see. Acres Shrike wonders how Crowpaw is doing. Sam Reese is looking forward to today. And Doosan has been hearing the voices of Star Clan cats. And we'll have to check on the Star Clan cats in a second. Sam is doing a good job as a medicine cat. Crane is cheating the loudest of any cat at naming, naming ceremonies. So I imagine that in this last, the last moon when the apprentices were named, she was cheering the loudest. Regardless of whether they're her kits or not. Um, Nine pounds someone's choked on her prey, please don't. And Kochiche turns away without saying a word when the clan mate bets to them. Dear Paul wants to visit Sun Paul at the medicine den, we can send them together. Cloud Paul wants to go over to with Dear Paul, we can also send Cloud Paul. Prince Fern Paul wonders if Snow Heather was a good apprentice. Well, she was a kitty pet, so. She wasn't a good or bad apprentice. Rainpaw is daydreaming about having a mate and kit someday. Aww. Ice Paw is giving advice. Nice. And Growing Paw wants to be a warrior before Cloud Paw. Which, you know, Cloud Paw has several months of training ahead of you. But I wanted to see something. But yeah, looks like Acorn Shrike has evolved from his gloomy trait to a lonesome trait. So now he just wants to be alone most of the time. That's a, not necessarily sad or upset, but I guess he likes isolation. Okay, Ice Glade is watching the clans for any sign of Discord. And Sirpa also wants to give life to a new leader. I know some of you were keeping an eye on that that prompt where Ice Glide wanted to give life to a new leader, which would be Sand Breeze, her daughter. And or you guys were having a bit of suspicion on Acorn Strike after the incident with Cedar Paul dying by the Nettle Clan border under Acorn Strike's watch, so we're keeping an eye on that. Jade Smoke's plans. Yeah. Let me skim through these relationships real quick. I'm gonna send a strike with Crowpaw. Just cause he's thinking about her. And then we could send Sunpaw, Earpaw, and Crowpaw together. So let's have a contract check in on Crowpaw's progress as a an apprentice. King Egonshake and Crowpaw stand near the frozen stream, watching two rats fighting for the last bit of seed strewn along the edge. They take down the two rats with a triumphant yell. That's good. And then now we can send Sunpaw. Paw and Cloud Paw Paw together for a fun herb gathering patrol. The apprentices are sent off into the territory to gather moss for the medicine cat den. Sun Paw and Deer Paw start to argue, ruining everyone's day. I wonder what they were arguing about. Do they get along in any way? Let's see where Sun Paw. Um. No, it looks like Dear Paw isn't too fond of Sun Paw. Maybe he just wanted to hang out with them and see what they're like. Nah, they didn't get along very well. Not a good start. Okay, we can send- wait. Yeah, we could send anyone on their own patrols. I'll have Mochi Shade join soft. Mochi Shade watches wanders past an old badger set in the roots of a hazelnut tree. Uh, let's go ahead and proceed. 
As the patrol is sniffing around the burrow and shows there's a rustle from the woods, it's not difficult to see who's more surprised, the cat or the badger. His grandpa got a mangled tail. Oh. Poor little grandpa. Uh, how? Wait, I gotta see something. Princess Snow Heather doesn't have any opinion on Soft, so... I was gonna say maybe she's not happy that Soft got her only kit endangered. Um... I don't know, I don't imagine she'd be too happy about that, and then Acre Shike, I imagine he's probably like... I feel like he has a bit more trust in Fernpa. But he's still upset, obviously, that his apprentice is injured. Or his son is injured. He's more than just an apprentice to him. And then we can send these three together. Sand Breeze encounters a porcupine bristling with quills. Is it angry? I will not proceed because of why I'm careful. Yeah, because I, I don't know, that sounded like it's angry to me. I don't want to mess with the turkey pie like that. And yeah, we'll send these two together. Dusa is in an unavoidably grumpy mood. And Lion Pounce is glad to see Dusa and looks much happier now. And these two. Proceed, okay. How did that improve the relationship? Just a little bit. Not too much. Okay. So unfortunately, Fernpa got injured. Okay. Let's go to the next move. Lion Pals has gotten green cough. Grain has gotten white cough. It's spreading. Oh no. Let's see. Aiko Shrike stands up of the clan and proclaims that Deer Pasha now be known as Deer Dusk, honoring their gregariousness. I have to Google that one. On. So apparently, Deer Paul. Other cats like Deer Paul, I guess. That's what I interpreted that as. But Deer Dusk is a pretty cool name. I'm gonna leave that as that. Aiko Shrike proclaims Cloud Pasha now be known as Cloud Swan, which is equally as cool, and I don't want to change it. Bird Paws realize the tongue. Okay. Um, Rainpaw is recovered. Okay, good. Rodeo has a scar now. And the Metal Clan Medicine Cat asks for herbs, and apparently we're allies with them now. Which... Which... How would... How, then how does that work with Cedarpaw's death? Because Cedarpaw died on their border, so I was thinking that oh, Nettle Clan, Nettle Clan killed them. But I guess if we're allies with them, then they wouldn't hurt Cedarpaw. Okay, look, I wasn't, I, I, I didn't know how to take the theory of Acorn Strike purposely murdering Cedarpaw. Is that serious? But now I'm like, mm. okay, but we'll have to. We'll, we'll have to see how that changes anything. Oh, um, but yeah, some of the first kids in our clan have grown up to be warriors. Okay, I'm gonna look at them in a second. Sand Priest gives Snow Heather a beautiful feather they found. Romantically? Because that's your brother's wife? Um... See. Snow Heather is checking in on Sunpaw. Rody was lying apparently to Grain. Cloud Song, she was ignored by Dusa. And Mochi Sheet is admiring Deer Dust from afar. Oh. Okay, but yeah, let me change. Let me go see this real quick. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna put there for now. I didn't find any fun 
alternatives but just recommend me some I'll probably pick one but for now I'm putting air air fern ball which I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right but whatever Yeah, oh my goodness, let me see. Ear dusk is a charismatic and a good consider, apparently. Let's see. Nine pounds influence them to be more likely to avoid a fight, break rules that don't suit them, be cold to toward others, and adapt easily. Okay. And apparently, he is good with kits. And Cloud Swan is childish. Um. Icarus Strike influenced them to be more likely to bicker with others, avoid a fight, and think things through. Okay. Interesting. Dear, this looks really cool. And Rodeo apparently has... Oh yeah, Rodeo's got that scar right there. How fun. Let me see, what is this thing with Mochi Shade and Dear Dusk? She's shade as a bit of a crush on Deer Dusk, but Deer Dusk has no, like pretty much no feelings towards Mochi Shade, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, oh yeah, Aiko Shrek is thinking about new ways to care for the clan. Sanbreeze wants to get to know Grain better. We can't send them on patrol together. Two songs doing her thing, Sun and Paws doing their thing. Rain doesn't want to go with Rain Paw. Stone Heather is rethinking their life choices, maybe. No, I was gonna say maybe she regrets joining the clan, but that's a bit of a stretch. Soft is feeling a bit lazy, apparently. Mochi Shade is being rude. Oh. I guess we could send Clown Swan and Mochi Shade together because they're thinking about it. Burn paws, practicing the battle moves. Rain paw overslept. Crow paw wants to get to know green paw better. And green paw's doing her own thing. Star crime cats are thinking. Ice glad wants to know what Snow Heather's doing. Fun sight is chilling. Jasper is worried about Jade smoke. And I'll oh. <laughs> Oh, poor Cedar Paw. This would have been the mood she got her warrior name. Okay. Normally I don't do this, but we're just gonna. Hun. Quick, think of a name. I'm just gonna go with Cedar Hope. Oh. So that way she can graduate with her brothers. But yeah, Cedar Hope, I'm giving you your warrior name, because I feel bad. Okay. Let's send Sand Breeze and Grain together. Oh no, wait, I can't, because Grain is sick. Never mind. Who can I send together? Cloud Swan and Mochi Shade, okay. Loud Swan, Mochi Shade. The patrol approaches a two leg nest in the woods while hunting. Well, they have that childish quality, and Mochi Shade, being a former kitty pin, wouldn't be too afraid of two leg nests. The two leg kids scare the patrol away. Uh, Ice Pop wants to get to know Bright Shade better. Let's send them together. Ice paw. Oh no, wait. You can't even go on patrol with Ice Shade. I was gonna. Bright Shade. I was gonna send Bright Shade with them, but they can't. And they had a. They caught a rabbit, anyways. Crow Paw wants to get to know Green Paw better. So we can send them together. With their mentors, just cause. Why not? It starts snowing soon. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna flip a coin because it looks like they don't have traits that go either way. Okay, the coin said to proceed. Despite the snow, the patrol manages to hunt successfully. Only a couple, but in the season that's more than a success. Okay, cool. Rain is out of commission. So I'll send Soft with Rainpaw. Rainpaw isn't acting like their usual self. Soft guides Rainpaw to sit, gently asking what's wrong. Rainpaw cluttered close to Soft's side, whispers they feel like a failure, that they're not doing good enough. Soft gently tugs them close. Aww. So Soft's kitten soft spot is really coming into play. Aww. Poor Rainpaw, what's stressing him out? Well, something is, because he, he overslipped. I don't know, maybe nightmares? Oh, and he's really getting along with Soft. That's so nice. Then we could s I'm gonna send Senpa and do some together. Which will find a nice spot to send themselves. And do some, make sure that they got a good break. And we can send Deer Dusk and Acorn Shack together. And they cut the bird. Cool. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next one. And then we'll be able to see Fernpaw get their warrior name. <laughs>